Hello all of you oddballs out there, it is Canelia here and welcome back to another episode on the Waystone server. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I would love to work some of my base but that will have to come in another episode because today I want to open up a shop at spawn and that is not any shop. That is a prank shop. For that we need to dig a ton and I have actually already done that because you can see on my tools they are pretty worn out and uh, I thought I'd just show you a little time lapse of me digging that out and just filling in with some black concrete and I will go and repair my tools and I will see you guys at spawn and let's get started with that little project. So I just got back from my XP gathering and mending up my tools, little trip to the Skelebob thing, and I saw something that caught my eye. What the heck is this? Someone planted a tree on my on my house. What the I have to check this out. I'm sorry about the rain. I didn't have time to sleep. Because I got back and I just got stunned by this. Oh, by the way, I made some little changes the other day. I just sported and I had some time on my hands and I just made a little bit of a train and I kind of like it. It's kind of cute. I'm really curious of who sent me this tree <laughs> on my house though. Not really something that I was expecting. Oh my. Okay, let's get up there. Okay. That is... <laughs> okay, so this house is intriguing. Like a little retreat. Oh my god. Puns. I only give houses like these my best treatment. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, thank you, whoever who... Whoever put that tree on my house. Uh... <laughs> I appreciate the puns. I will find you and I will prank you back. Possibly, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Intriguing. <laughs> let's get back to the spawn and let's do something productive today. So after that little in tree esting finding on my house, I have gotten back to spawn and I actually got a message before and it said that Hello, I might have to build something where you want to build your shop. This is Nergap. I will get back to you. I promise. But uh, something is built over here. Okay. <laughs> According to Naracorp Code Construction Section NC 153 Line 5? Line? Do you say that? This area is now declared a hard hat zone. What? Days since last incident. <laughs> I, I left a hole. I can't even get through. <laughs> Good work, Nargath. I just have to jump over this. <laughs> I left a little hole and... Uh, I think Nargath almost fell in it, or he did fell, fall in it, and he built this as a restraining wall or something, and uh, thank you, I guess. But let's go down here. So this is what we have. I am thinking 
since this is going to be a prank shop. And funny enough, everything that has happened in this episode so far is someone pranking me. I guess prank shop is off to a great start, but I am thinking, prank shop, who pranks people? Clowns are very funny and disturbing <laughs> creatures, so why not build a little clown here? It's probably going to look scary, it's probably going to be horrible, <laughs> but I want to try it. And uh, I also want to build a little tongue sticking out of the clown, so you just fall down here. And then you just walk onto the tongue and into the clown's mouth and make your order there. Yeah, we have plenty of space here actually. We can probably fit another shop if we wanted to sometime in here, which I might want to. But let me get started with building parts of this clown and uh, I will be right back when I have something to show you other than just a black wall. And welcome back and we have a little foundation to work with. So this thing here is about nine blocks tall, I believe, and 14 blocks wide. I'm thinking this is supposed to be a clown and I want it to be one of those kind of scary looking clowns, but still friendly. I don't know. <laughs> we will just try to build this and uh, see where this takes us. So, from a distance, it looks something like this. Ooh, I like it, kind of. I think the nose is a bit too small. I think we can work around this. So, let's grab some not sticky pistons, hello. <laughs> some red carpet and just top that off so no mobs can spawn. And the clown also needs a mouth, so... I'm not really sure, actually, so I think I will leave this to you guys. So, on your screen right now, you will see a little pole and this is choice A, the extended mouth thing. And this is choice B, the short mouth thing. What do you like the best? Tell me in the poll and I will change it if we need to change it. For now, I think... Ah, I don't know. I think I will go with choice A for now, the extended mouth. And I will probably change my mind during the course of this clown being constructed. Is that even words? Like, words, what? <laughs> he also needs some things on the eye. Like here, here, and can I reach it? Let me reach it. I can't reach it. Carpets to the rescue. Let's see how this looks from a distance. Yeah, this is our clown. Now I kind of want to go with the shorter thing, but I will leave that up to you guys. So let me get a little bit of the wig or the hair going and uh, I will be right back. You know what? I got a little bit carried away and I did both of these sides. I was just going to do one and then do the other one, but I did both. Well, we will have to go with this and I went back to my base to get some white wool because I needed that and I have apparently put all of the other things away. Give me back my black carpet. And I just want to talk. This clown is magic. It can laugh. Ooh, that's actually a really good idea. Let's have a witch somewhere hidden and just... I might do that later. <laughs> But what I wanted to talk to you guys about is how this shop is going to be working. So, first of all, I want to have a double chest downstairs and inside of this clown's mouth. And that is where we will be taking the orders. And I haven't... Hello? I haven't really decided yet if I want to have them written in a book or just on a piece of paper. But the thought is that the person who orders this... If it's a book and they sign it, I know who wanted to pull a prank on somebody. And uh, surprise, surprise, we're going to pull a prank on that person as well. So we will have to come up with something to prank the person that is supposed to be pranked. And also the person that orders. But if they don't sign it and they don't leave a name, then I have no idea who left that order. And we will just have to prank the person that is actually supposed to be pranked. But... It's like a double prank thing, and I I kind of like that, that idea, just pranking two people. Yeah, I think that is a great idea, but um, you have to promise me something. You cannot tell the other Waystone members, just shh, shh, quiet. But 
I think this looks pretty cool actually. It, it's kind of scary and it's kind of hilarious at the same time. I'm not a huge fan of clowns. I am... Um, uh, yeah. I think I like it. That's how I will put this. I think I like it. So now when I have secured this little top area of the clown, I will get started with the tongue. And let's get some materials out for this. We will need some nether wart. We will need some fence posts and some red carpet. There it is. Very beautiful, very pretty. And uh, did I need something else? I don't think so. So this is the center. The chests. I needed the chests. But it's a difficult word to say. Mm. Yeah, I'm with you, witch. I also want to put them in one block further. We can see this beautiful stone. <laughs> it's like void and then stone. Amazing. Yeah, destroy everything we actually made and just bring this out a little bit. I have no idea if I have enough blocks for this. It looks like a bloody tongue <laughs> or something. And I want this tongue to kind of curl up and then go down. So I think I will... How do you... Shovel? Nothing? Oh, that is... That's not good. <laughs> This is going to take forever. So let's put these fence posts here. And this will look like it's not actually possible to walk, hello, <laughs> on top of. But I will show you when I have broken this in a thousand years. This actually acts like a stair. So I just walk right on top of this and uh, that is pretty good. So I will just extend this out a little bit further. Yeah, that's probably right. My block placing skills amazing and maybe the tongue ends about here Ooh, something like that my thought is that you are going to fall down from a little trap ish and you're going to land on two slime blocks here and bounce a little and then you're going to see this clown and just walk right on top of the tongue and into its mouth that is going to be really cool but this we can also just extend out a little bit, randomize it a little bit, so we just put some things like this and like that and just makes it a little bit random. And now let's go take a little look-see at this from a distance, so one and two and one, two, three, four. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I could get used to this. Just walks right onto the tongue and into the mouth of the clown. I like it. So now when we have done this, I need a little exit over there. And then we will go and work on the top ruin thing that I have planned out for this little project. I have made some progress. I have made the chicken exit and I have made a little tube thing and I'm sorry if I sound different. I just had a major sneeze attack <laughs> and uh, I might sound like I have gotten a cold or something, but uh, that is not the case yet. I just have to admire this little pile of things for a second. Like this is my little workshop. Just sigh and everything and just, I like it. I don't know, but this is the thing that I made this is the little tube, so this is some bouncy blocks. So you just fall down there, and let's go up here, actually. This is where we are going to build our little ruins, and that is not going to be anything special, but we will have a little chest that will kind of deceive the player and trick the player to go over there, and then we will have some tripwire, and the floor will retract, and you will fall down, and it will look something like this. So you can just see the clown and then you just walk out and onto the tongue and over, make your order. And then you just walk here and that is the chicken exit. And I don't know if it's lethal to go here now, but you just walk straight up the stairs and this is probably going to make many of you dizzy. <laughs> and it says, thank you for stopping by the happy clown. Come again soon. I think we will call this the happy clown. Not sure. Exit is straight ahead through the bushes and the ruins and uh, there's just a little sign just pointing to where you are supposed to go. You just 
walk right on through here and uh, continue with your day. But now over to something that is pretty tricky for me to do on camera and you know what that is. It's redstone. Oh yeah, Canelia redstone time. And then we will make the ruins and finish this project up. Redstone magic has been made and I still sound like I have a cold. Very interesting, I have been sneezing like crazy so it uh, wouldn't surprise me if I actually get a cold now. But this is what I have done, it's very simple, but I still had to go back to my testing world to look at how I did this before. So let's just jump over here and look at the redstone. So I have this thing on a little delay. So these two are going to retract and these two are going to extract at the same time. And this is just my, my very derpy redstone. Yep, yep, it's all over the place. Yep, yes, I know. I'm not a redstoner, guys. You know this by now. I build things and I, I talk to Larry. That's what I do. I'm a Larry Whisperer. I want to see everybody in the comments. Hashtag Larry Whisperer. So this chest over here, it's just bait basically. So you just, point is that you will walk right up to it and then try to buy something and you just fall down. And that is kind of a little prank itself and I kind of like that. So the pranks begin when you fall down this whole thing. And yes, so I will just write a little sign on this. Free pet rocks. And we will probably have to name some of these rocks and just put them in here. So that should be really interesting to see if anybody actually gets through this. I, I think so. But maybe we walk into this trap and you will leave your order at the happy clown. And then on your way back, you'd see this. Free pet rocks. And you get a pet rock. Isn't that amazing? But this needs a bit of a cover-up job. And Nargath, I'm sorry. This has to go. It was fun while it lasted. But, um... Yeah, I appreciate you pranking me. I will get back at you. Don't you worry. <laughs> so, I think this needs a little bit of a time lapse. So, I will just go and get the replay mod. And, uh, let's... Build these ruins. Welcome back and I hope you enjoy that little time lapse, that mini mini time lapse and this is how it looks as of right now. I didn't at all blow this up like two times, <laughs> I did shame. So you just come up here and then you see that sign, free pet rocks and I actually named them. There are some good names in here, just hoovering over them can pause the video if you would like to see all of the names but if you walk right on to here then you will just boop, and you will see the clown and then you walk right onto the tongue and the more I look at this clown the more I see the McDonald's clown in front of me and I kind of thought that well McDonald's this is prank shop should I change the name to Prank Donalds? I'm not sure if I can get like a copyright strike or something on that, but uh, I've considered that. But for now, we will just call this the Happy Clown. And uh, this is where you put your orders. But the instructions, I thought I would read them to you. So, <clears throat> welcome to the Happy Clown, the finest pranking service yet on the market. How to leave an order. Put the name of the prank worthy in a book, which you can find in the chest below. Explain why you want to prank them and what you had in mind. If you want to collaborate on this prank, then state that in the book as well. Otherwise, we will do our very best to fulfill the prank of your dreams. Our services are always free of charge. However, if the prank is resource heavy, we'd like you to contribute with some resources. It is up to you if you want to sign the book or not. Hmm? 
<laughs> Thank you for stopping by the Happy Clown and have a lovely day. And uh, we will see if we can get any orders. I am actually really excited for this. I uh, didn't know what I wanted to do for a shop and I was like, this server needs more pranks. I have no idea how I'm going to do these crap pranks yet, but I think we will have to deal with that later on. This looks also a little bit like uh, an orange poodle. <laughs> but that is going to be everything for today, so I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, don't forget to vote in the poll about the mouth of the clown, if we'll have it like we have it now, or if I will just remove the last block of red on the mouth thing. You know what I mean. Oh, that ain't scary at all. <laughs> but again, I thank you so, so much for watching and until next time, eat your broccoli and I'll see you later. Goodbye!